my name is Paulo. Um, I'm from Lisbon. I'm 47 years old. I'm a sociologist and um, photography was always uh, an hobby for me. Uh, since I was very young, my mother always gave me a cameras for me to play with and I usually like to go by myself and take photographs for everything that amazed me in the world around me. When I got older, I started experimenting with different types of photography, but um, what I really like is to tell stories with my photography. Um, this project uh, is someone that I developed uh, for myself. It was like uh, the connection of the two worlds in which I live in. The world of my professional activity, where I work in the social sector, being a consultant or giving professional training to teams that are involved in projects that aim to have some social impact. And in a way, the idea was to make that impact visible. So when I thought about your main focus, the main idea was to make the social impact that others are producing something visible to the community as an whole. And that was the main purpose of this project. Our main focus comes from the, this very simple idea that you have a lot of NGOs, a lot of municipalities and even companies that have their social areas and that they want to, co to give back to society and usually that they, they don't show it in a very meaningful way. So with this project the idea is to give visibility to this kind of work that is so important but that sometimes just is invisible to the community that surrounds it. Um, in the example of this organization that we were working with this morning, they do this work and it's in most invisible work for the most people in Legia. They don't know that this organization works with these people and as much as these people are invisible themselves, the projects that work with them are also invisible. So the idea is to give uh, visibility to these people that are invisible themselves and to the projects that aim to improve the well-being and the living conditions of these people, to bring them back to the society as a whole, in a way. I think that photography is complementing my life work, you know, it's like uh, I've chosen to work in the social sector because I wanted to give something back and in, in a way I'm doing that as a consultant in trying to build better projects and to evaluate projects to, to have uh, elements that can prove the social impact that these projects are, are producing. But photography can complement that very well because when you see things you cannot ignore them. Uh, for instance, if you if people don't know that someone is living in the streets, if you produce a picture that shows that human condition, in a way you are making something that was invisible, visible. So photography, in my case, but also video, can, have a, can serve this higher purpose to give uh, visibility to things that usually people don't give any attention to. Today we were working with Impulsar, there is a, an NGO from, from Leiria and we were with one of their teams that do these uh, rounds around uh, Leiria and that talks with people that are in the streets. Uh, sometimes they are helping people parking their cars or they are in a way trying to get some money, giving small errands or something like that and um, engaging in conversations seeing what they need and what impulse I can do to help, trying to minimize the risks of them doing some things that are not very helpful for their condition, uh, and also give some food and some basic support. Um, it's it's uh, an important job, it's not um, 
a very sexy job, it's not a very sexy project that gives uh, very good PR, but it's an important job if you are trying to work with these communities. I like to, to use Fuji equipment. Um, some of it has to do with the design of the equipment. I, I'm not going to, <laughs> to lie to you guys. Uh, I like this, uh, this look. Um, some uh, analog dials, things that you can move and it's not only menus and stuff like that. And I also like and I prefer the um, rangefinder look to the DSLR look of the X-T2. But um, for that's only half of the story. I, I like the equipment because it's small, it doesn't stand in the way, it, uh, it, makes, it gives me the possibility to take the picture and still engage in conversation with the people that I'm taking pictures of. So it, it's small and still has great image quality, which is obvious the most important thing. I love the lenses also, which are really good. In these kinds of, of work, I usually use two bodies. Today I used mainly the X100F um, for the 35mm photography and also the X-Pro2 with the uh, 35 1.4 which is basically my the lens that I I use the most and it's my favorite lens from the all lineup even if it's not the fastest one but it's the one that I really love usually in this kind of work I don't like to change lenses a lot sometimes I, I only use the X100 well before the T now the F with uh, an adapter so sometimes I have like the 50 and the 35 and it's good enough because the image quality in the X100F is crazy and um, well you can do almost anything with the 35 and the 50 so I really enjoyed it today I, I haven't changed because I, I had two bodies and um, I usually I use uh, another focal lens, usually the 56 1.2 for this kind of work when I have to take some portraits or something like that. Sometimes, but a lot less, I bring the 90, 90 F2. To, today I used basically 35, 35 year, so 50 and 23 year, 35. It's the, and it was more than enough. I, it wasn't the kind of environment where I want to change lenses and take time and say to the people, well, wait a minute that I'm just going to change lenses. So it's easier to just change cameras and get the, the work over with and maintain a certain rhythm and engage with people. It's more important than stop everything to change lenses in the middle. Part of the work that I've done that I've done, it's, I think the most important it is to treat people with respect and part of that respect is not treat them as models that you say, well, wait a minute, I'm just going to change lenses and you just want to interact with people and the, the photography just comes naturally from the exchange that we are having with people. That's, that's what I'm aiming for at least. As you know, Humane Focus is a very young project for me. It just started uh, May last year, and um, it, it's, 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 it has been a ride, you know. It's just, I never thought that it would get so much traction so soon. We now have a very significant partnership with Fujifilm Portugal. Um, it was just a match made in heaven because I've already used Fujifilm material so it was not hard for me to, to endorse and to use the Fuji material because it was already my, my choice.
I've already done uh, shots in uh, Guinea-Bissau, in Ethiopia, in Portugal, in several cities and in several kinds of projects. So projects around education, projects that work with the homeless, projects that work with people with mental illness and people with, uh, that are dependent in some ways from alcohol or drugs. And so different projects, different challenges with very bad light, with great light, with very harsh light. So uh, in Africa, so high temperatures, high humidity and um, so a lot of experience in a very small amount of time. What I think is that people want to start making these kinds of projects and photograph human condition and uh, have a documentary approach to, the, to photography, especially humanitarian approach to photography. They, the first thing is to understand the context that we are, we are photographing, what are the issues, what what are the characteristics of the situations in which these people are in and to respect them as human beings you know don't use them just as a, um, a photography uh, object uh, that you are just taking pictures because they will be nice and it would be a good picture understand that they are human beings respect them engage in conversations and make the photography part of the process in which you are connecting with other human beings.